Hey guys, how's it going today? Uh, I just put a video on earlier, but uh, figured I got not not much to do tomorrow. Might I might try and get into my beaver spot tomorrow. I'm not sure, but I wish I could show you it to you guys. But can't take this with me. Stupid computer. But uh, anyway, so I figured I'll take out a few weasels and take the mink off the board. Do a little work in the shed today and tonight. And uh, well, I'll show you guys what I'm doing while I'm doing it. Let's take out a couple weasels here. Uh, let's see. I need to take out what three big ones here. If I got any big ones, I'm not sure. One, two, uh, there we go. That ought to do it. Three big ones here. Pretty nice little weasel. I have to call him Grader. Nice little weasel there. Saw him out for tomorrow. I think he might be a small one. Yeah, this is a small one. He's pretty kind of small. You comb him out a little bit. Get a little, uh, a little bit of uh, junk in his fur. Well, guys, it's supposed to be kind of crappy tomorrow, too, so it's just got a little damage on it here. This might be a little boring to you guys, but you know, I ain't got nothing to do, and I figured I might as well tape it for you guys. I don't know if you guys like this kind of stuff or not, but. Hopefully you do, working in the first shed. I'll make sure and video this tomorrow, you guys. That's a pretty big weasel there. That's a really nice weasel right there. Except he's got a little bit of damage on him. That's not good. God damn. You see what crows do? I don't know if you guys can see that, but he's got no fur on the end of his tail. He's got some nicks taken out of him right around this area here from beaks. And then they picked at his ear. Look at that. Look at that. You just can't get over what they do. That was an early one there, right when they first turned white. In the store, I got myself some tacks here. Just some regular old tacks for checking up fur. Nothing special. Use that bag. Let's see. Here. Let's see. Here. Take all this junk out of here. Oop. Oop. There's two. I don't want to be losing them. Just stepping on them. Put them in your boots. What not. Sorry about that. I don't know where that one went. I'll find it one day. Probably put my hand on it. One of these days. But, <clears throat> well, give you guys a little update on what I did in the fall. As far as fall trapping went, I ended up getting. Um, four mink in the fall, and I got that one over there. I'll show you guys in a minute when I take it off. And we're getting four mink in the fall, one in the winter, in February. And then I ended up getting 20 rats, because I didn't have half the traps I do now. I just bought all these ones recently. And for you guys just starting out there, like I am, I'm, well, I'm two years into it now, but it takes you got to put some money into your trapping before you get anything out of it so let you guys know that if you guys think you're going to come in and get instant instant money you can if you inherit your traps and stuff like that but i didn't i had to buy all mine and well i'm finally starting to make my money back just got a box the other day that was pretty exciting on the nice uh foothold trap Number five, I think, Duke. And I also ended up getting um, 20 rats, like I said. I ended up with, uh, oh god, I don't know what else. I ended up with like probably 18 squirrels, I think. Three weasels in early before I took out my, uh, took my stuff out. I didn't have anything to skin them with at the time, so I had to sell them in the hole. Which sucked, I got kind of cheated on that, but you never know. 
So what you get when you're starting out, don't not prepared, I guess. Put those away in a minute here. But uh Yeah, I enjoy trapping a lot. It's a nice way to make a little bit of money for myself right now and then I'll probably give you guys some videos on crawler picking and packaging some night crawlers this year, but you know, <clears throat> other than that, not much gonna be going on in the summertime on my channel. And uh, here's this mink I got. Nice little mink right here. This mink. Female. Wasn't the best. I'm the biggest one in the world. But try and take them off now. I don't know how well this is going to do. <clears throat> God. Should have put a belly board in him. He's pretty tight on there. It's not good. Yeah, it's friggin' tight. Shit. Oh well, I got him off before. Oh, there we go. Nice little mink. I don't know. Guys, tell me what you think about it. I messed up on the one ear over there. Put a hole right there. I cut his total ear right off. But for my first one, I think I did a pretty good job. It's a pretty nice little mink. It's a nice little mink. I caught this guy after uh, four days and uh, having a big old storm for four days. Dropped a foot and a half of snow on us. And uh, went back pull my traps out of that area because it's getting to where I couldn't get to it anymore. And I ended up freaking getting a mink and pulled my trap out of the water. He got caught in both traps I had set. One over his hole and one over another area. I don't know if I'll be able to take these some of these weasels off yet. Show you guys some of these weasels up close here. Well, maybe. I don't know if they'll get this one off for you. No. Nope. Can't get that one off. Come on. There we go. Oop. Go on everywhere. I'm prepared before I got the video started, I guess, hey? But, uh... Whatever, it is what it is right now, I guess, this weasel. I'm only gonna get. I need to sell them in the hole because I don't know, we got 40 cents for the damn little thing. Didn't see selling I got five bucks last year for a big one like this. Got five dollars last year for them. Don't know what happened between this year and last year. I heard that all the trappers out there, all you trappers that are out there, that, uh, Guys, all flooded the market, but no big deal. Since the economy's been so bad here in the U.S., we got uh, a lot of guys going back out trapping that knew how to do it, and well, the prices went down because there's a flooded market. That's what I was told. And well, anybody that's not a die-hard trapper is probably not going to trap again next year. Trying to put that belly board so far up. I can tell where I got that one, eh? Look at that. The little red blood clot. But. Well, there we go. I got two boards for tomorrow. I should be able to take the third one off. Come later on here. Tomorrow morning or something. I'll show you guys how I skin these tomorrow in a couple of them for you. I don't know if my uh, how long I can take a video for, but we'll have to find out, I guess. This is probably quite a long little video, but I'm just rambling on right now. Sorry, guys. <clears throat> Not much exciting going on here, except for uh, if I get a beaver, I'll show you guys that definitely. I'll be so excited when I get that thing. Holy shit, you won't know, 
You don't know how bad I want to get a beaver. Haven't got one yet this year. Haven't got one yet trapping. Didn't get a chance to last year. Last year I didn't even get a chance to uh, trap anything else but weasels. And oh, It's not that fun trapping weasels, you know? I mean, it's fun, but when you're only trapping weasels, you're not making yourself a lot of money. I only made like $60 last year. Of course, I only made like 200 and. 60 some this year, but I'm not gonna do anything with it, I guess. Anything about it until you get more traps and all that stuff, good stuff like that, you know. But uh, hang all these guys up. I don't know, I should be able to take this one off there. I've been up there for the same amount of time. Yeah, I can take him off. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, guys, I'm probably going to head off here, sign off. i boring you guys to death with my boring talk about nothing. <laughs> There's not much going on lately in this uh, part of the world, a little part of the world up here. But uh, I might have a buddy over and be skinning some weasels with him tomorrow. That still be fun. got to teach him how to skin them. So... But, anyways, I'll show you guys a little bit more of the shed here. I got some uh, outside work to do come summertime. And, uh, well, I'll read off what I got to you guys here. Let's see what I ended up with last year. I ended up with 19 red squirrels, 20 rats, 5 mink. Oh, I ended up with 5 coons in the first order. Forgot about that. 5 skunks. He buys deer hides. Ended up with two of those. And then this last order here, I got eight squirrels. I got a mink. I'm hoping to have some, uh, oh, what's it called here? Some, maybe some otter, hopefully. That might be, that'd be good to get an otter. But, uh, I'm hoping to have some, uh, beaver. I got, uh, 14 weasels. And I got a fox for 30 bucks. I said on the last video. But, not much going on, I know. Let's see what I got last year. I had, oh, I had a male mink, and I had uh, six large weasels and seven small weasels for a total of $62. That was a pretty good order there. But, uh, yeah, guys, I'll uh, show you some of my lures here in a sec. I don't got much. also got some of my skin and tools. I got to get some stupid combs. I ain't got no combs. Using a crappy one of my old, my dad's old comb that he used from the 80s. So it works pretty good, if you don't know what the 80s were like. But, uh, got this nice Havlon knife. And these are just, this Havlon Piranha knife. I tell you, that's, that is the best knife you'll ever use right there. Easy to replace the blades on it when you get it. Comes with 12 automatically. You just order replacement blades in dozens. I love that. Here's the replacement blades. Nice little handy dandy tail zipper. And I got the uh, Dexter, just Dexter knife here. I got another one right, right here. The Dexter knife. And I got your uh, pelter. Nice little pelter here for. Uh, Get your cuts and stuff started. That's a sharp little knife there. But yeah, there's that comb. How do you think of that? Laugh all you want. I do. It's pretty funny, I think. But I'll show you guys some of these crappy pelts I had last year that I ended up getting. I ended up doing these last year here. These were my little tiny. Here's my squirrel. I, didn't, I wasn't going to get nothing for them, so what I did was I just opened them up like that. Kate, I case skinned them and then I uh, opened them up like that. Got them in the, this one. I was muskrat trapping. I had this. I had a number one set on a log with some lure above it. Muskrat lure. And he jumped on the log. He swam across the water and he jumped off the log and drowned himself. I don't know what he was thinking. Muskrat lure. It smells like cherries. I don't know what the heck he was doing. But, uh... Thought I hit the stuff button there. Anyways. I'll be doing inventory here. 
come after beaver trap and I'll show you I'll do a video on how exactly how many traps I have but uh, I just got this crappy little weasel lure here it's a weasel lure from Jay's Sporting Goods it's just a weasel lure there kind of covered up I got this Hob Baker's number two muskrat lure number two muskrat lure Hob Baker's number five Muskrat lure. I haven't tried any lures out for rats yet. I've just been setting on their uh, trails and in front of their houses, and it's been working pretty damn good. So, but I got some coon lure there. Oop, wrong way. <laughs> Raccoon lure, and then I got some uh, number one muskrat lure from Hob Acres. And the coon lures from Hob Acres too. So, well, guys, it's been quite a long video. I don't know if you're gonna want to watch all 15 minutes of it. 16 whatever minutes it is there but uh, I also got some bunch of flagging tape and all that stuff but uh, I'll show you guys here got my gloves in that drawer I don't know if you can see this but I got my tags and all that stuff in that drawer and then I got my uh, magazines and just a little stuff to write stuff down there's my money box right there Gotta have a money box when you're dealing with cash all the time. But, uh, let's see what I got in the fridge here. Yeah, not much. But the freezer here. I got uh, a bunch of bait and all that, and all those little packages of weasels. There's all the squirrels I got right here. I got eight of them in there. But, <clears throat> well, okay, guys. Well, good luck trapping to all y'all. I know it's coming to an end here. It's not a, not a good time of the year for us. But we'll end up uh, back here tomorrow. Set up, show you guys how I skin these weasels. And then uh, won't have much till hopefully I get a beaver or an otter or whatever. And then uh, hopefully, hopefully, I can get uh, a camera and show you guys some crawler picking and all that. My business I run here to my house. And then... Uh, Hopefully I can also um, show you guys what I do next fall. Try and tape every trip I go on, everything I do. So, okie dokie. Till next time guys, good luck trapping.